Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see SAP SD roles and responsibilities. It's very, very frequently asked question in interview, roles and responsibilities. What are the roles and responsibilities of a consultant, SAP SD consultant? They may ask, what are the roles and responsibilities you did the project? So apart from as a consultant, SAP consultant, who bridges the gap between customer and the company. So responsible for bridging the gap between the company, that is business and the customer, business and the company. So apart from this, let's get into the topic. First one, he is responsible for creation of the enterprise structure, sales area. What is sales area? That's the first one, sales area. Sales organization, distribution channel, and division. He is responsible for creating sales area. He is responsible for creating shipping point. A company can have more than one shipping point. It can it should be assigned to a plant. So he is responsible for creation of the sales area and he is responsible for the shipping point, creation of the shipping point, enterprise structure in SD. Next. So a link has been provided in the description. Check, check the link for the enterprise structure. This is implementation. Main implementation starts from enterprise structure. Enterprise structure. Next. Customer master configuration. BP transaction code. A link has been provided in the description. Check the description for customer master configuration. In BP transaction code. So all the, all the configuration needs to be done in ERP side as well as cross application components. So this BP transaction code is needs to be configured with the number ranges. Who are all, which are all the fields are mandatory fields, which are all the, in the customer master, which are all the fields are mandatory field, which are all the fields are display, which are all the fields needs to be suppressed, which are all the fields are optional fields. Will be decided by the configurations of customer master. Be decided by customer master. Next, a link has been provided in the description. Check the link for customer master, master configuration. Material master configuration, MMNR transaction code. MMNR transaction code. First thing is, SCP SD consultant is responsible for finished goods. He sells the only the finished goods, finished product. He needs, he needs to create this finished product, material type. That is finished product. Material time in transaction port OMS2. OMS2. Transaction port OMS2. OMS2. Transaction. He has to create. And next is material ma master number rich. MMNR transaction. A link has been provided in the description for material master configuration. Check the link. MMNR transaction. MMNR transaction. This is also comes in the implementation. So they may ask you, what are all the implementations you have done? What are all, in the in the interview question itself, they may ask you, what is the implementation roles and responsibilities? So this also you can see. Material master plan. Next, document creation. Document, normally you create o, OR document. Sales order is OR. Standard document type is OR, sales order. The real time, they may ask you to create not in OR. You have to create a separate sales order document type for the business. Okay. So the standard document, they will not accept it. And, and you have to say like, you have created the document. You have created the document. A link has been provided. Check the link. How to create a document. Document creation. This also comes under Either it comes under change request or it comes under implementation. Mainly it comes under the implementation. No more OR document. They will not accept OR document. You have to create a document, fresh document. Next. Document number ranges. So you have to create document number. Sales order document number range, delivery document number range, and billing document number range. So for the delivery document number range, I have given the, given the link in the description. Check the link. This is your delivery document number range. A link has been provided in the description. Check the link for delivery document. Sales order document number range, we do it in BN01. BN01. BN01 transaction. 
Okay. So this is also the part of implementation and you have to create a number range for the sales job. Next, credit management, very, very important topic. This is very, very important topic and you should have been familiar, familiarized with this topic. You should say familiarize with this topic, credit management issue. The link has been provided in the description, check the link. Very, very important topic. Credit management, a sales and distribution consultant should be knowing this. Should be, it's a must know topic. If you have been put in the resume, it will be rejected. Credit money. A link has been provided in the description. Check the link. LSMW, customer master upload, material master upload, info record. All comes under LSMW, legacy system migration workbench. So this is also part of SAP SD consultant roles and responsibilities in implementation. Next step. Pricing procedure. This is also a very, very important topic. Pricing procedure. A link has been provided in the description. Check the link. Okay. Uh, CSAP consultant needs to be needs to create condition table, access sequence, condition type, pricing procedure. He has to maintain the pricing procedure, document pricing procedure, customer pricing procedure, condition record creation, all this and pricing procedure determination. All this, he should know how to create it. This is also part of implementation for SAP SD consultant. So these are all the roles and responsibilities of SD consultant. You can see all this in the interview. Thank you.